Alright guys, the gym is reopened, so I'm taking advantage of it. Uh, I woke up naturally at 5 in the morning, and it feels really good. I've been sleeping at like 10.30 each night and waking up around 4 or 5, and then repeating the process, which is great because I'm one of those people that often falls into like bad sleep, meaning like I'll stay up until like 3 or 4 in the morning just watching YouTube or like a movie or something and then I'll wake up at like noon and then repeat the process and it takes a long time to fix. So I'm happy right now that my sleep schedule is great. And I'm honestly really happy that the gym is open. Like in Asia, the worst thing about Asia is that nothing is the same every day. Just like everything is, nothing is stable for the most part. So sometimes it opens at eight, sometimes it's just not even locked at nighttime, sometimes whatever. So yeah, the door was open, and I'm very fortunate about that. Uh, today is Sunday, which is my super busy day. I've got class, um, let's see, 9 to 11. Then I've got a two-hour break. Then I'll just say when my breaks are. I, my break is from 1 to 3 and 3 to 5. Otherwise, I'm just teaching, teaching, teaching. Like, from 5 o'clock, I'm busy until 10 o'clock. Like, five hours of straight teaching. So I'm just sitting there on my laptop. For some of my um, smaller classes, like my one-to-ones, like they're less formal, sometimes I'll use my phone to teach and I'll just like be on the treadmill. So it's kind of funny. I assume my students know what I'm doing, but I try to like hide the weights behind me. I'm like, okay, so look at the book. It's like, teacher, what is that? Uh, I'm at the gym, ha ha ha. So sometimes I do that. <laughs> Which I'm able to like do everything 100% well, like while I'm walking. So it doesn't really affect my mental capabilities of teaching but it does kind of feel lazy or something. Uh, I need to fix my diet right now. I've just been eating KFC every day, but I'm trying to keep it within like that OMAD window. So I'm not really gaining or losing right now, but I do want to start losing again. All right, so yeah, today is my super busy day and not too much else to say. I'm not really doing much these days. It's kind of sad. But again, everything on the island is supposed to open up on July 1st. I don't really get where the tourists are supposed to eat, seeing that everything is shut down, and all these draconian laws about drinking on the beach and restaurants. Because, like, um, this is kind of a party island. People have, like, asked me multiple times. They're like, William, why do you come to Phuket? It's like a party place, like, you know, drinking and girls and stuff. And I was like, well, yeah, I'm not into that, and you know I'm not into that. But it's just like a cheap, beautiful place and everything. People are nice. I mean, um, I always kind of like the Muslim or maybe it's the Arab ideology. Because like Islam and Mutt Arabs are different. Because like there's lots of like Asian Muslims. Then like there's Arab Muslims. And there's the odd European Muslim if they're deluded enough. But anyways, um, most Arabs and Muslims I've talked to have always said like, you see in a place what you want to see. And there's this interesting story in the Quran. Um, this scholar from the Middle East sent two of his disciples, like two of his students, to, um, I think it was France. And they came back and reported what they saw in France. And one guy was like, oh my gosh, it's the worst city in the world. It's so sinful. Everyone is like partying and doing drugs and just like brothels and prostitution. It's like hell on earth. And the other student was like, the mosques were beautiful, um, the city streets were clean, and everyone was very kind and open-minded towards me. So it's like, dude, how are you seeing all this prostitution and crappy stuff? Like, were you doing that? Or maybe, you're, like, maybe your apartment was on a bad side of town? Well, who knows? The point is, whatever you, s for the most part, whatever you want to get is what you will end up getting. Like, the only thing in life you can change, I mean, you can change various things, but one thing in life that you can always change is your perspective on the situation. You cannot directly change a situation, but you can change your perspective. Like, oh man, my bike was stolen today. Well, that's okay, I can walk more. Okay, so you just always try to like be positive. I mean, even like, oh, I broke my leg. That's nice, I'll get to do more reading now. So, like, you know, you don't need to be an idiot. Like, maybe I sound like an idiot saying that, but, like, just be positive. Like, look at a perspective from a positive light. 
All right, I don't really know how long I'm gonna walk. I've got like two hours before class starts. Uh, and some workers are coming over today to like fix my ceiling. So I won't be able to like nap on break time. Usually I nap, so I can't just nap while people are fixing my ceiling. I'd look kind of weird. Uh, all right, I'm gonna end it there. Um, I know there's only a few people watching, and thanks if you are. I know I kind of like fell off the YouTube wagon, but it's because I'm not doing anything. Like when everything gets back to normal and I'm like traveling to Egypt and like going to like cool places, I'll like climb the pyramids, I'll go inside the pyramids, I'll go to a rainforest. I'm gonna do all these cool things. It's just when I'm like staying in my tiny little condo on my prison island, there's just not much to talk about. Anyways, I'm just gonna focus on the walking and watch some YouTube. Uh, see you guys, bye-bye.